Let's go back to when Lorraine was still working on her research before Rent came over. She was researching something about evolving monsters. Lorraine planned to ask the guild about a few things to confirm something. Shortly after, Lorraine heard a knock on the door that she immediately recognized. It was Rent's distinctive knock. Lorraine felt very happy because she could finally meet Rent again. But Lorraine was confused. Why didn't Rent enter immediately as usual? Lorraine was sure that something had happened to Rent. Because of that, Lorraine pretended to be asleep on her sofa. When Rent entered Lorraine's house, he woke her up and immediately showed his hand to her. This shocked Lorraine because she actually saw an undead in front of her. After that, Rent told everything he experienced inside the labyrinth. Lorraine could hardly believe that those events were real. Then Lorraine was thinking about something that might affect Rent in the future. In Rent's mind, he admired Lorraine because she remained calm when facing him. It was no wonder that Lorraine was given the title of a great professor, sage, and adventurer. Although sometimes Lorraine treated Rent as a subject of her research, Lorraine remained a good girl who had known Rent for a long time. Then Lorraine asked Rent, Do you, as an undead, still have the same nature as before? Of course, Rent was startled after hearing that. He just realized that he would likely undergo a change in personality in the future. But for now, Rent didn't know how to answer Lorraine's question. Then Lorraine decided to postpone the answer. There were many things she needed to investigate from this case, and she would think about it together with Rent. Lorraine then asked, What are your plans next? Rent replied that he would continue to be an adventurer, and wanted to achieve his dream of reaching the top rank, Mithril Tier. But Rent couldn't take quests from the Adventurer Guild in his current form. Therefore, Rent asked for Lorraine's help to take quests for him to complete. Then Lorraine immediately agreed and allowed Rent to stay with her. In return, Lorraine wanted to further examine Rent's body to assist in her research. Of course, Rent was a bit hesitant because Lorraine might dissect him. But Lorraine didn't mean that. She just wanted to take some samples of Rent's flesh or skin. The next day, Lorraine took quests from the Adventurer Guild as Rent requested. She also sold the materials Rent obtained in the labyrinth to the guild. Additionally, Lorraine bought cosmetic ingredients that Rent had collected. These materials were of very high quality, and Lorraine could make a good beauty serum from them. Rent received the money and went to the blacksmith shop called Three Pronged Harpoon. Upon arrival, Rent apologized to the female shopkeeper for his suspicious appearance. Rent just wanted to forge a new sword. The shopkeeper, named Ruka, Klope's wife, the owner of Three Pronged Harpoon, said that Rent's current sword was accustomed to a certain mana flow and spirit, so they would create a sword with similar specifications. Then Rent also mentioned that he could use divinity power. Of course, Ruka was surprised, and she was sure that Klope would ask many questions during the sword-making process. Rent said he didn't mind, and if Klope started making the sword, he could inform Rent at Lorraine's residence. <gasps> On the other hand, Lorraine found literature explaining about ghouls. Ghouls were low-level undead with very high physical abilities. Even if their necks were severed, ghouls wouldn't die. Ghouls liked meat, especially human flesh. Many ghouls were born in the labyrinth, possibly even from human corpses. There was a case where humans were turned into low-level undead by high-level monsters. Undead came in various types, so Lorraine couldn't conclude anything for now. The literature also stated that those who turned into undead would lose their personality and human emotions. Despite Rent's current rare appearance, Lorraine felt that Rent was still Rent. She understood Rent's nature very well. Lorraine recalled the moment when she first met Rent at the Adventurer Guild. Another adventurer suggested that Lorraine take Rent with her while exploring the forest nearby. The adventurer said Lorraine didn't need to pay anything to him. Rent joined Lorraine just to gain more experience. Lorraine accepted the offer, and Rent helped her a lot during their time in the forest. Rent could guide Lorraine in fighting monsters, and he understood what Lorraine was looking for, impressing her. During their rest, Rent mentioned that many people were concerned about Lorraine. So, they asked Rent to accompany her. Everyone knew Rent was a great all-around adventurer despite his young age. Moreover, Rent was the only one of the same age suitable to accompany Lorraine. Lorraine blushed a little after hearing that. Initially, she was really bored with her monotonous life. That's why Lorraine tried to adventure alone without telling anyone. When she met Rent that day, she was sure Rent could tell her more about the world. From fighting techniques, plant knowledge known by Rent, monsters, places visited by adventurers, etc. For years, they've always been together, and Lorraine has been observing Rent's progress every day. At the blacksmith shop, Ruka gave Rent a temporary sword while they worked on his new one. Rent thanked them and left. Ruka and Klope were very concerned about Rent's situation. They wanted to help Rent more, 
But Klop suspected that Rent was under a powerful curse and didn't want to trouble them. They believed that over time, Rent would slowly tell them about his condition. Klop said Rent would be a regular visitor to their shop. He was confident because Rent had shared his identity with them, his three main powers and Lorraine's residence. At least, according to them, Rent could trust them with that information. Back at Lorraine's house, Rent cooked delicious food for her. Lorraine was very happy because she hadn't eaten Rent's cooking for a long time. Lorraine also learned that Rent didn't feel hungry at the moment. Then Lorraine explained what she had read earlier. She said Rent was a different kind of ghoul from the usual ones. Rent still retained human emotions, and this might be related to existential evolution. There were various types of undead, and Rent's future body changes were still unknown. But Rent hoped to transform into a form resembling a human. Therefore, Rent would strive to increase his XP for this existential evolution. Rent believed that he could become stronger in the future. <laughs> Some time passed, and Rent continued to explore the moon's reflection labyrinth, saving an adventurer named Terry. Terry's arm was slightly injured from a slime attack there, but somehow, Rent was very anxious when he saw blood from Terry's arm. Terry asked for Rent's help to kill the monsters there. Terry was forced to become an adventurer due to economic demands and debts. Initially, Rent refused because he had experienced cases of adventurers pretending to be poor, then robbing the money and other adventurers' belongings they encountered in the labyrinth. Not only that, Rent knew many negative cases from his own experiences, but Rent eventually guided Terry to the place where he met the sacred dragon before. Most likely, there were items or materials that Terry could bring. As they explored new corridors around, Rent found an empty room with a magical circle in the middle. But Terry didn't see the circle and entered the room without any caution. Rent had warned Terry to be careful, but when Terry stood right in the magical circle, he suddenly disappeared. Of course, Rent was shocked because the magical circle was likely a teleportation spell. Rent immediately followed Terry, and there was something surprising when he saw it. <laughs>